Hello, welcome to another edition of Sparky Help. This time, easy guide to earthing systems or mastering earthing system earth fault loop paths. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Here we always start with the secondary of the distribution transformer. So this would be the delta to star, the 11 kV, typically down to 400 stroke 230 as shown. But we don't need to draw it three phase, so we're going to draw it single phase. And we start with the winding of the transformer, which we see on the left hand side. We see the star point and this is up to the main switch within the property and obviously being double pole. So we've got the fuse there, the neutral link, which is the service fuse and the neutral link within the service cutout. So let's start with, let's start to draw the TNS. So we've got the line conductor and that comes out and we'll have an overcurrent protective device and we'll connect to the load. Obviously for it to work, we need the neutral. So there's the re neutral return current path. What do we have here? Well, we have the appliance, whatever it is, we must take an earth to it. So we have the earth run to it. And a TNS, the supply earth will go straight back to the transformer via the sheath of the earth. What do we need to show now? Well, we need to label a few things. So we'll call this one, as it's a resistor, we'll call this R1. This one RN and R2, or the CPC. So we have the line, the neutral and the CPC. Here we have the transformer winding, as mentioned earlier. There's the star point of the transformer. This is the sheath of the supply cable because this is the return. There's the earth electrode for the transformer, which the electricity companies will provide. There's our main service fuse. There's our main switch, double pole. And I know it shows it open, but you get the idea. You'll see for it to be on, it would be closed. This is a representation. There's our overcurrent protective device, in other words, a fuse or circuit breaker. And there's our load, which in this case has an exposed conductive part and therefore the CPC connects to it. We have our neutral link. We have our main earth terminal, which could be within the board or external to the board, depending on your installation. We have an earthing conductor, which connects from the MET to the sheath of the cable. Well, now we introduce the fault. Here's a fault, not that we want one, but when we do, we want a big fault, a fault of negligible impedance. And we're going to label it as such. And therefore, current will flow in this path. And there we have it. This is the earth fault loop path for a TNS system. I hope you've enjoyed. Nice and easy. Thank you very much.